Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, I'm going to get you out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If it is my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so we got a few different topics to talk about today, but let's just jump right into it. So up first, we got none other than Diddy Man. So they pretty much come out and saying that Diddy is literally running things inside of jail. They said Diddy running things so far inside of jail that he's actually paying people with his own money uh, in order to use their cell phone time. Because, you know, he, he gets a limited amount of actually I don't think he's able to use to talk to his family at all. That's what I heard. But uh, either way it goes, he's paying other people to use their cell phone time to actually be able to uh, communicate what they're saying with witnesses outside of jail and they're pretty much saying that he's trying to influence those that want to potentially uh, do any sort of of, um, of testifying against them he's trying to pay them off like while he's inside of jail using other people's phone now I will say if they got recordings of Diddy actually trying to do this bro it's toast he might already be toast but for sure if they got recordings of Buddy trying to do what they're saying he's trying to do Buddy gonna be toast you know what I'm talking about uh, but also, uh, so Diddy's kids actually came out and they did like a birthday song, like, you know, saying happy birthday to him, uh, him, all of his kids, his daughters as well. And the feds is now coming out and saying that Diddy orchestrated this from inside the jail. He's pretty much saying that he's doing this for the media to pretty much pick it up to order to sway the jury. Uh, from TMZ.com, it says Diddy allegedly used his seven kids and 55th birthday to influence potential jury feds say. Now, do I think this is true or not that he's doing this? Uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I would imagine he'd do anything in order to make himself seem less of a villain than he's been painted inside of you know the world right now because every post about diddy is literally baby oil more victims and all type of stuff right so it says diddy is getting created behind bars wait up uh, bars to sway the potential jury in his favor and he's even used his recent birthday celebrations to obstruct justice in his federal crimes case prosecutors say according to the legal docs obtained by tmz federal prosecutors say diddy who is currently behind bars recruited family members to plot and execute a media campaign campaign around his 55th birthday earlier this month for the purpose of influencing a jury at trial. You may recall Diddy Seven Kids posted a gushing Instagram video tribute to the music mogul and they let Baby Love take center stage in the singing of Happy Birthday. The children also wrote in the caption, Happy Birthday Pops, we love you. But the feds say it was all staged to win over potential jurors saying the IG video at Diddy's carefully curated direction was posted by his kids to each of their social media accounts. Uh, Prosecutors say Diddy monitored audience engagement from like they're literally saying that he monitored engagement from all of their profiles uh, with the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn and specifically discussed with his family the video having its desired effect on potential members in this case. Bro, I, I'm saying if they got him talking about this, we will, we will know when the trial starts if he don't plead out uh, that they've pretty much got him saying this type of stuff on the phone. If so, he's toast. Uh, the feds also laid out several other reasons why Diddy should have stayed locked up at the MDC as he awaits trial on charge of racketeering, edge trafficking, uh, transportation, and engaging in prostitutes. So, hey, listen, man, if they, in fact, do got Buddy on recordings saying that kind of stuff, but they're saying that he's orchestrating all this from behind bars, bro, if they can prove that, they're not going to let him loose. They're not going to let him go and be able to be free or none of that at all because, I mean, they'd be like, okay, if he's able to do this inside of jail, just imagine what he can do outside of jail. We already got people saying that he tried to blow up their cars. We've already got people that's potentially getting beat up that's saying no diddy, all type of stuff like that, right? Anyways, we'll just have to see how that goes, and I'll definitely keep y'all updated, uh, but now, if we tell Tap into the next topic and subject is actually going to be none other than Quando Rondo. Now, Quando Rondo has dropped his flag and he's trying to live more of a positive life, right? However, you know, Quando Rondo, one of the ones who stood firm and stood tall and actually protected the person that protected him, right? We know uh, he said uh, King Von came up and boom, boom, hit him with, like he said, he felt like the devil was hitting him. That's how bad it was, right? And then, of course, little Tim popped out that car, came around, bang, 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 shot him. And and then now we know that after Lil Tim shot King Von, Lil Tim was then shot by the guy with, I don't know uh, his name, but I know he has the kind of head like that from the police shooting him, right? Anyways, well, Quando Rondo kept it real solid. Um, 
and it was now coming out that Quando Rondo actually paid $160,000 for Lil Tim's bond and a lawyer. Now, I posted this and I said, hey, man, this is how it's supposed to go. Somebody catches a body for you and you pay the lawyer fees. Many times people forget about the mans and let them rot in prison because that really how it be, right? It ain't no love inside the streets like they say. And y'all definitely, in the comment section, y'all definitely understood that. Y'all were like a real one. Tim literally said he dropped 65 k but okay, I guess this uh, story sounds better had to pay lawyer fees and bond too dang you know what you're right don't he yeah he definitely was 100 some k but 160 k uh, caught a body out of fear well i mean it don't matter if you caught a body out of fear as long as you catch a body if your friend getting whooped beat about to be unalive however it goes right uh but of course they could have just boxed it out and took the l and nobody could have died in the situation that would have been better but hey man listen uh Tilo tim is just trained to go as people would say right ttg train to go like whenever it's time to go and and shoot whatever it may be it's time to crash out and he'll crash out about it which is what he did in order to protect his friend and for these two it worked out now unfortunately you've got little dirt that's locked away in the feds uh because he potentially was trying to crash out on both of these two well really on Quando Rondo, uh, but it ended up getting his cousin Lil Pap, right? Anyways, now I want to say last but not least, right? It's been a whole lot of topics going on whether Jake Paul could go toe to toe with none other than Javante Davis because Javante Davis did come out and say something to Jake Paul after Jake Paul win against Mike Tyson, right? So, uh, posted that he would be what. Javante Davis actually came out and said, I'm going to read it to y'all. Javante Davis came out and said, to the bozo that shared the ring with Mike, you are a whole bozo for this, and you didn't get the job done. <clears throat> and which, of course, a lot of y'all had a lot to say. I, I mean, actually, there's some people that was like, hey, you know, Tank better watch his mouth because he'll whoop him. But the, most, the majority of people was like, he would whoop Tank, right? But, you know, let's read to the comment section because I want to know what y'all feel about this. So, Laugh aloud, Tank is not beating Jake. Sorry. No, sorry. Reach advantage is brazy. Tyson couldn't even reach him. My money on Tank. Tank would watch this. Uh, not interested, but uh, not interested, but I know for a fact that fight will make a lot of money, right? Jay, since he's uh, going to pay him a bag, that's the only reason Tank called him out. 20 mil for a sparring match, say less. Of course he'll fight a 60-year-old man or so. So, you know, you still got people saying that Jake only fights older people. And, of course, uh, you know, a lot of people saying, hey, people, people want to see it, right? That, it's got a lot of reaction with me talking about that and actually posting this clip of it. Uh, but people definitely want to see, uh, they want to see Jake Paul fight somebody maybe that's an actively fighter, like a Javante Davis, you know, like somebody else that's actively fighting. I believe um, 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 Jake Paul actually said he would come out and fight Conor McGregor inside of an MMA match, which, of course, that could be dope, too. Uh, you know, it's like I say, just instead of somebody that's so old, right? Anyways, now let's get over to the next topic. Listen, fam, I know everybody loves Kodak Black, but listen, bro, buddy might need some help. Buddy that came out, somebody said they like to see a sober yak. Yak came out and said, nigga, I am not sober. And not only am I not sober, he called them a B word. Here is exactly what he said. I want y'all to hear this, right? Oh, and Kodak sober. Bitch, I ain't sober. What? I look sober. No, for what? For what? For what? Look at all this money. Look at all this cash. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna play it all. But yeah, the, uh, bro might need some help because we know what happened with a whole lot of celebrities, bro. They end up on a whole lot of that stuff and unfortunately end up getting hooked and passing away. That's just how it goes, right? But if we take it to the comment section, let's see what y'all had to say. Let that man do what he want. Another Gillian Wallow talk gone to where, because Gillian Wallow did just have a talk with Buddy about him you know, be here and all this other sentimental stuff. As you can see, that doesn't matter at all, right? Uh, the next person, a lot of people put a lot of smiley faces. Love me some yak. Kita Media, another super gremlin. Oh, yeah, because I said, man, forget about all that. Let him do what he want. But, hey, man, give us another super gremlin. And somebody said, another super gremlin is crazy work. They say you make the best music when you're on jelly beans. It definitely. Uh, you should talk to Lil Wayne. Cause he a head, he fool a dope fiend. They gonna play a mid back on you. Yeah, bro. He, I mean, he's literally out on bond, parole, whatever it may be. And he's still telling them, hey, listen, man, I'm gonna do what I do, how I wanna do it, when I wanna do it. And it just, it is what it is. So he's a very defined person. But hey, man, it is what it is. I say, let everybody do whatever in the blue hell they wanna do. Uh, so that way we can just do what we wanna do. Watch it, entertained by it, whatever it is, right? <clears throat> Anyways, let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.